All right, Coach, you know, this year, um, you know, it's hard not to think about last year, I'm sure. I'm sure that's been a motivating thing for you guys this off season. You know, kind of what was the, the message to the team after last season to, to come get it this year? I think just a lot of, like, unfinished, unfinished business. Just, uh, we, you know, I had a bunch of guys kind of disappointed at the end of last year. And obviously, as a team, we were disappointed. We thought we were going to win, and just a couple things didn't go our way. So um, a lot of unfinished business and just, Got to get more bonus points. We got to, you know, continue to win in the semifinals where we've kind of struggled the last couple of years. So, but this is a team we've kind of circled. You know, you hate to look ahead all the time, but we've been looking forward to this year for a long time. Yeah, I mean, you've got Slade, you know, obviously the senior committed to a D1 program. Then you've got some freshmen coming in. Um, can you just talk a little bit about first Slade's, you know, Slade's leadership um, on this program and kind of bringing these guys along that are coming in? Yeah, you know, Mike's been through a lot, obviously, last year, last two years, really, you know, sick the year before, and then last year, slam call. So he's kind of been around everything, and he's seen it all. So he's kind of lean by example right now and starting to get better about the, like, the vocal side of leading. But, uh, you know, his lead by example is awesome. So drills hard, works hard, does the right things outside of the room. So that's really all you can ask. And then, um, you know, we've had some other guys step up to as leaders. You, know, you guys have always you've been a program where there's always been a couple of kids that like no one's really seen maybe in Fargo or with off season stuff and then he he jumps in the lineup and you know gives you guys points at the state tournament might not be that guy I'd expect to be a state tournament but like who who maybe some of those 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 guys that have been working hard um, in those JV tournaments that are going to get a shot this year. Yeah, you know, Garrett Kingery kind of stepped in our lineup late last year um, and qualified for the state tournament, but he's looked really good so far this year. Had a good fall. Uh, Easton Bilodeau, he's been around. You know, he's done, he's, I mean, he did Fargo and everything, but he's a guy who was in our lineup for a long time last year, and then Kingery beat him out at the end of the year. So that's another guy who should step up. And then, uh, you know, we've got a few others, like a Noah Trexel, a Carter Peshik, or some guys that I think will make big jumps. Um, just uh, about the freshman, right? Uh, One-two punch at the the beginning of the the the, the lineup. I'm assuming, um, you know, having those those small guys come in the lineup. But what's that been like for the program as well? Yeah, obviously, you know, DeSalvo's his name's been out there for a little while, and. Um, got third at Fargo, so he's he's going to make a big splash, I would imagine, at 106. And then 113, we've kind of known about Matt Prine for the last couple of years. Uh, he's been a little banged up, so hasn't done like AAU and different things like that, but he's a guy who's going to make you know a big splash this year. Uh, Off-season off stuff has always been real important here at Southeast Polk. Um, what is it about you know Iowa USA events and national events do you think is benef the most beneficial part of, for folk style? You know, I think giving them something to train for in the spring and the summer is important. So, you know, we obviously push push Fargo and Northern Plains and Iowa State Tournament, different things like that. And I think it's just kind of pre pre preparing all spring and summer for big tournaments. And then once you get there, if you're an elite guy, you know, obviously competing against the other elite kids. And if you're not necessarily there yet, you get to see what those guys are doing. And I think it, it's really paid off the last couple of years. Um, just overall looking at you know class 3a dual team tournament team uh, obviously you and Waverly show you guys have been going back and forth now for it seems like forever um, you know can you just talk a little, a little bit about just the overall landscape of class 3a where things have kind of changed and kind of shifted a little bit um, and Waverly and maybe some teams that are up and coming yeah you know I think Bettendorf's supposed to be really good they had a really good uh, young freshman class last year and then they got some upperclassmen I know and I think they got a kid to move in from Pleasant Valley so they're gonna be tough Waverly and Fort Dodge are always tough and then the CIML is always extremely good too you know like a Johnston Ankeny those guys those teams I think Centennial is gonna be good this year so you know we get to see all those teams throughout the year so we'll kind of get a good gauge on where we're at and hopefully we can find ourselves on top. Perfect. What's the what's the theme this year? You guys always have a theme. And dangerous is uh, is Jessman's theme this year. So we'll see. We got to just put guys on their back and get bonus points. I think that's kind of going to separate us from the rest of the field. I think.